Tokyo 2020, the Olympics of the future. The world's athletes won't descend upon Tokyo for another four years, but the Olympics aren't something you procrastinate. The city has been busy making preparations since they won their bid in 2013, an effort that will likely cost the host country some 18 billion when all is said and done. Like many nations before, Japan plans to use the games to showcase, and in many cases debut, some of the most sophisticated emerging technologies on the planet. Here's what we can look forward to. A history of innovation. The 1912 Stockholm Summer Games, the first time electronic stopwatches were used on a mass scale. The 1936 Berlin Summer Games, the first time a sporting event was broadcast live on television. The 1964 Tokyo Summer Games, the debut of Shinkansen, the world's first high-speed bullet train. 2002, the Salt Lake City Winter Games, the debut of instant video replay technology. The Tech of 2020. Robot Village. Japan is already a worldwide leader in robotics technology, so it's no surprise that the country plans to have a small army of robots ready to be at the beck and call of international visitors in time for the opening ceremony. In fact, there will be enough for them to warrant the construction of their own village, which will be adjacent to the Olympic Village in Tokyo's Odaiba neighborhood. The robots will be able to help guests with directions, transportation, and even translation. The country hopes the village will showcase a future in which robotics assist humans regardless of their age, nationality, or socioeconomic status. Instant Language Translation there are now 206 National Olympic Committees sending athletes to Tokyo, and Japan hopes to make huge strides in instant language translation before they arrive. A real-time translation app called Voicetra that currently supports up to 27 languages for text translation with more to come in time for the games. Panasonic is working on a small device to be worn around the neck that will translate Japanese into 10 languages instantly and vice versa. The company also intends to provide visitors with a smartphone app that scans Japanese signs and translates them on the spot, much like Google Translate. Autonomous Taxis Japanese software makers Dina and robotics firm ZMP set up Robot Taxi Inc. to operate driverless cars and an online service to ferry athletes and tourists to stadiums. Tests have already been conducted wherein selected Tokyo residents summoned a robot taxi, a retrofitted Toyota Estima minivan, from their smartphone to take them to a local supermarket and bring them back home. The government plans to pass laws regulating self-driving taxis by 2017, while Toyota and Nissan are working on rolling out cars that will be capable of some level of autonomous driving in time for the Tokyo Games. 8K TVB Broadcasts Back in October, Japan-based Sharp Electronics was the first company in the world to release an 8K television. Unfortunately for most, the 85-inch beauty costs more than $130,000. Despite the sticker shock, Japanese state television network NHK plans to air the Olympic Games in ultra-vivid 8K. That's 7,680 by 4,320 pixels, or 16 times more pixels than the vast majority of HD sets today. Still, Sharp and NHK both envision 8K-ready TVs and consumer homes by 2020. To prepare, the network plans to test its 8K broadcasting technology in Rio de Janeiro this summer. LJ Fueled Airlines How green can public transportation get? Well, Japan wants to use LJ as a fuel source for jets and buses. What's more, Boeing has already signed on and is likely eyeing an eventual global rollout. LJ is a clean and efficient fuel source which can cut carbon dioxide emissions up to 70%. However, making biofuel from algae is still an expensive procedure. To bring the project to life, the aerospace company is partnering with over 40 organizations, including the Japanese government, the University of Tokyo, Japan Airways, and all Nippon Airways. Hydrogen-powered villages. The Japanese government plans to spend up to 330 million to incite hydrogen energy use in the years leading up to the Olympics. The country wants the Olympic Village to be completely hydrogen-powered, with a large pipeline constructed underground that will directly funnel the gas on site. Additionally, there will also be some 100 fuel cell-based buses to transport athletes and members of the press. The government envisions 6,000 fuel cell cars on the road by 2020, and up to 100,000 by 2025. Tokyo is even spending $385 million to subsidize purchases of Toyota's new fuel cell car, the Miri. Artificial Meteor Showers as for the opening ceremony, a Japanese astronomy startup called ALE is planning a man-made meteor shower to descend upon the city. ALE is working with Japanese universities to design a cube-shaped microsatellite that will be launched into space, where it will shoot out tiny spheres made from special chemicals. 
Upon re-entry, the spheres will burn and glow like a magnitude 3 star while racing at 5 miles per second. The show will mimic asteroid shower patterns, and ALE is even looking to come up with glows of different colors. The estimated cost of the show is $4 million. Super Speed Maglev Trains During the 1964 Tokyo Olympics, Japan introduced Shinkansen, bullet trains to the world. Now it's hoping to take another leap forward by debuting its next generation high-speed rail system technology, magnetic levitation. Though maglev trains are already being operated in Shanghai and other cities around the world, the Virgin Japan plans to roll out could very well be the fastest. Earlier this year, the country completed test runs of maglev that broke a land speed record for rail at 601 kilometers an hour. The government hopes to have the train up and running to Tokyo in time for the 2020 Games and to Osaka by 2045. 5G Wireless Connections if past Olympics are any indication, Tokyo can expect to receive well over half a million foreign visitors to come to the city for the 2020 Games. What's more, all of them will be trying to use their cell phones at the same time. Japan's largest mobile operator, Docomo, has partnered with Nokia to develop 5G wireless so networks can run at high frequencies during the Tokyo Games. The companies have already demonstrated technical progress on 5G radio equipment, achieving data transmission speeds of more than 2 gigabytes a second, compared to 300 megabytes per second through 4G.